Hello everyone welcome to the fourth episode of bug bounty POCs a series where i explain the reproduction steps of my findings and also explain the reporting process behind them so let's dive into today's video that is delete replies on linkedin learning so this is the summary when deleting a reply on linkedin learning there is a reply id associated with that http request and you can substitute the reply id of your reply id with a victim reply id and this will result in the deletion of victim's reply so let's look uh, in detail how this all worked you can go to linkedin.com/learning pick a course like here i'm picking this course and this is a, just an example and these pictures i'm taking as of today and there is a section called q and a section here so if you'll click on this q and a section then you will see question and answers where users can go uh, post some question and you will get the replies so look at the structure of this uh, Q and A. Users can go and make a post first, right? So this is similar to a LinkedIn post. So there is a post, there is a comment, and there is a reply. So first, I need to. I started by uh, testing authorization at the post, and then authorization at the comment level, and then started testing authorization at the reply level. There were no bugs at the post and comment level, but there is this deletion bug at the reply level. So what attacker can do is that attacker can go and make a reply. After this, I will delete my reply. I will take this deletion request into repeater now this is how this delete request looks delete slash learning api slash social answers forward slash this whole urn value of my comment and the post id and the comment id this is how this deletion request looks like now what the attacker needs to do is that the attacker needs to go to the victim's reply click on the three dots click on the report this post and after he will click on the report this post he will get the victim's uh, reply id and basically the urn value associated with that reply id then you can take this urn value and substitute here in this deletion request this will result in 204 no content and that's when i recognize okay maybe uh, this is just an api response and the re reply is not getting deleted i refreshed my browser and saw that the reply actually got deleted and it was victim's reply so the actual poc it is around 1.5 minutes and it is already on my youtube channel i will link that video in description so after the fix is applied this is how uh, the response looks so when when making this request with the victim's reply id the response is 403 forbidden but this is after the fix before the fix it was 204 no content so let's look at the reporting process now so this report is actually partially disclosed by linkedin right now i got my first reply uh, by hacker and Trijer and they changed the status to ppr on 14 december i think i reported this on 12 december and on 15 December, the LinkedIn staff replied to me and on 17 December, it got triaged. On 11 January, they paid a bounty and on 15 March, the issue got resolved. This is the summary of explanation that I found an HTTP request to delete a reply and that request was having a reply ID and by reply ID, I mean the URN value. With that report feature, attacker can get the victim's reply ID and you can change the reply ID to victim's reply ID and delete request and this will result in deletion of victim's reply. This is the reporting timeline that I've reported this bug on 12 December 2022 the status got changed to PPR on 14 December it got triaged by LinkedIn staff on 17 December it got rewarded on 11 January 2023 and that's a mistake here 2022 and uh, it got resolved on 15th March 2023 uh, not 2022 so that's all from my side thank you